I got to talk about Quentin Spain. Uh, Quentin Spain made the rounds. He was talking about um, in depth as to pretty much why he left Buffalo. And uh, very interesting enough being that being brought up because there was controversy as to why he let go of Quentin Spain and how weird it was. Because it was weird, right? He was one of the higher graded guards in free agency. Deep into free agency, nobody picked him up. We picked him up. He had a damn good solid year. I think he had a year where he didn't allow any sacks. Mr. Undrafted, no sacks allowed that year that we had him. So we signed him to a three-year extension. So we're like, okay, we found our guard. We found our left guard. And I guess he had his struggles, which we, all linemen have their struggles, but we stick to it sometimes. I mean, you saw some game. We saw some games where we had guys struggle. And we didn't just yank them. Yeah, we left them in and let them take their lumps. But for him, they said, you got to go. So they benched him. And here's the thing. This is what made him more upset. And this is what he brought up. They brought up, he brought up, excuse me, the fact that McDermott was trying to ruin his career. And he had to elaborate on that. He's like, listen, man, they gave me an extension. And all of a sudden, they bring in a guy that they wanted. They clearly wanted this guy and they wanted him to start. So he's pretty much saying it wasn't anything to do with my damn performance. It was just they brought a guy that they wanted to start. Well, I'm sorry, but usually when they bring somebody in, it's because they don't feel really good about how you're playing. That's why they brought that person in. However, the person they brought in was Brian Winters. And we know Brian Winters was absolutely garbage. He was garbo, man. They And they had to shuffle. And here's the what makes things worse. And I don't blame Quentin Spain for saying, yo, let me go. Release me because I see what's happening here and I want no parts of it, right? You bring in Brian Winters from the Jets, which he was already a mess from the Jets. And we bring him in. That's number one. Number two, he they move, they shuffle things around. They put Brian Winters at right guard. Excuse me. Brian, that's right. They put Brian Winters at right guard and they move Feliciano to left guard. Something of that nature. And then, excuse me, they, they put in, that's what it was. Okay, Quentin Spain was replaced obviously by Feliciano, Feliciano's left guard. And they bring in Brian Winters and put him at right guard. Brian Winters wasn't panning out. So what happens? They move Feliciano over to right guard, and then they put Ike Butker at left guard. So it's like Quinn Spain got, I got dropped by, because you guys brought in Brian Winters, which was garbage. And then you bring in Ike Butker to replace me. I don't know if that was, that was a good move. And this is the tinkering that, that McDermott does sometimes messes with the with the flow of the game and the flow of the of the line. When you tinker too much, man, let these guys get the get the flow of one another and go from there. I mean, we saw how bad Renters played, man. He was not great. Uh, it was a turnstile until he just got benched outright. So you paid this man seven million dollars. You brought him in and paid him seven million dollars for him to just be garbage, right? So Quentin, I can understand why Quentin Spain was was a little peeved, but nonetheless. It is what it is. He, I respect it. He says, yo, get me out of here because I, I see what's happening. I want no, no parts of this. And then fast forward to the Super Bowl. Good on you to make it to the Super Bowl. And then it fell on you on top of that. So you win some, you lose some. Uh, but what I take away from this is sometimes tinkering too much can really mess with a, with a good thing. Right. You don't want to tinker too much. I mean, there's a lot of times where you're looking at the def- defensive line. We're always moving guys in and out, in and out, in and out. And I talked about this in a, so a couple of shows ago. You leave your dogs in per, uh, the highest percentage of the time as you can. Let them get a flow of the game. Let them be the difference makers. But when you keep moving guys out and moving guys in, you can't get a rhythm. Yes, they're fresh, but there's no rhythm. So let your guys get 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 after it. Let them be in it. I mean, I can't see Aaron Donald, them putting him in 50% of the time. Do you imagine that? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put you 50 percent of the game. You're gonna be playing the game. No, man, you leave me in as much as you can. If unless I ask for a breather, I need a breather. I need a water break. Take me out. But no, nah, man, you leave your dogs on the field. Stop tinkering. And that's what that's what my guy uh, McDermott tends to do. Uh, maybe less tinkering. Let your dogs just be dogs. I mean, I'm just that's just my opinion. 